Today what we're going to do is I have some uh, pure palladium precipitate from a previous video that I had left over here. It was in a filter paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat on over here and we're going to burn this into, uh, we're going to burn off all the ammonium chloride and burn it into palladium sponge, pure palladium sponge. Do that right now for you. As you can see, the starting temperature is 87 Fahrenheit, 30.6 Celsius. I'm just going to turn the heat on and let this uh, burn up. The time right now is 2.30 p.m. Let's go ahead and start this experiment by putting medium heat to this. See if we can burn off the ammonium chloride and get our pure palladium sponge. Palladium salt's been on the heat now for about six or seven minutes. And we got the temperature max, as you can see, is 224 uh, Celsius, 343 Fahrenheit. So we're just going to go ahead and let this burn slowly on medium heat. Dish has been on there for about 25 minutes. We got it at uh, 457 degrees Fahrenheit, 236 degrees Celsius. Okay, the uh, palladium salt has been on calcining now for right at one hour. I just hit it with a little bit of flame there to uh, finish off the paper. Now what I'm going to do is turn this off and let it cool down to room temperature and then we'll put it in a crucible and melt it up into a button. The dish has been allowed to cool down to uh, room temperature now so what we'll do is go ahead and transfer this into a melt dish carefully. Now I'll use a few pieces of uh, moistened fil 
filter paper here to uh, go ahead and rinse or uh, wipe the uh, remaining palladium out of the fuse quartz dish. Get that down into our uh, crucible there. Now I'll transfer the uh, crucible over here to my melt table and I'm going to go ahead and melt this palladium up into a button. I'll begin the melt by adding a uh, liberal amount of borax. This will help uh, keep anything that's real lightweight in the crucible as I do the melt. All right, here is our pure palladium button that I just got done melting. I've got a little stamp set over here, and I stamped an S in it. It's got my initial on there, an S. I'm going to weigh it here and see how much uh, it weighs. And we got 4.6 grams. 4.6 grams of pure palladium. Well, that concludes the uh, melting of the solid palladium uh, button that I uh, calcined out there out of the palladium sponge. I've uh, stamped a little S, my initial, on the middle of the button. It's got a nice mirror finish. Bottom of it's kind of frosty looking, but the top's nice and uh, smooth and shiny. Pure palladium button. I think it weighs about uh, 4.6 grams. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and list this button on my uh, eBay store for bids. Put it up for a seven-day auction. Uh, you can help me out and support me so I can make more videos by bidding on this uh, pure palladium button. It's the one with the S on the top of it, my initial. And now uh, while you're there looking at my store, check out some of the other items that I have for sale. Uh, I've got a lot of nice jewelry items that are uh, greatly discounted from the retail price that you'd pay in a jewelry store. Some real nice items, too nice to scrap. I work in a jewelry repair shop and I check each of the pieces under a microscope making sure that the uh, if there's any stones in there that the 
prongs are in good shape, the stones are nice and tight. I buff everything up, make it look brand new, put it in ultrasonic cleaner, put it through steam cleaning to sanitize and clean it. So it's just like getting a brand new piece of jewelry from the jewelry store, only it's about one third to one half the price that you'd pay in a retail jewelry shop. So make sure and check that out. Support me if you can. And uh, that'll conclude the palladium button. We'll get that listed. And coming up next, I've got the uh, platinum salt here that I recovered from the silver cell slimes video and from the catalytic converter video. There's some platinum in here. And I'm going to uh, try to get pure metal doing a uh, bromate hydrolysis with that. Plus, I have some. Uh, platinum jewelry here that I've rolled out real thin so I can dissolve this and I'm going to mix these two together make one big solution and try to get a nice big blob of uh, pure platinum metal and that's coming up in a future video of course I've got my uh, stock pot out there it's been settling now for several weeks and uh, I'm going to go out there and try to get that stock pot online and get the, uh, get the metals out of that and get that refined for you so, that'll conclude this video. Make sure and take a look at my uh, eBay website. The uh, name of the, my username on uh, eBay store is Baffless. B-A-F-E-L-O-U-S. B-A-F-E-L-O-U-S. But I, too, I do put my uh, YouTube username, Sreetips, S-R-E-E-T-I-P-S. I put that in the brand or maker uh, info. So if you do a search for three tips should pull me up uh, one of my items and then you can just go to my store and see the uh, other items that I have for sale so make sure and take a look at that if you can support it that'd be great I can make some more videos if you do thanks for watching